Peace be upon you. I hope you are well. Today I want to do the exercises and explain the new vocabulary at page number 32, M high 3. Now, number one, activate. Complete these sentences with the correct form of the word from the box. As you see, these are the new vocabulary in this unit. Achievement, الإنجاز, apply, يطبق, associate, يربط, benefit, استفيد, catapult, يقذف, dull, ممل, essentially, أساسي, inspire, يلهم, knowledge, معرفة, maneuver, يدور حول, memorize, يتذكر, pantry, خزانة المطبخ أو المؤونة, ستامبل يتعثر سندايل المزولة أو الساعة الساعة الشمسية جيولايز معناها يتخيل Now here we want to use these words in uh, the correct space Number one It was dark last night so I didn't see my brother's bike and I stumble as we see stumble معناها تعثر Number two, I always associate the smell of roses with my mother's garden. Number three, when John's bike hit a stone, uh, he was catapulted into the road. Number four, our driveway is very narrow and so it's very difficult to maneuver the car. Number five, Everyone will benefit from the government measures to save the economy. Number six, essentially the key to sex is hard work. Number seven, in the past people used sundial to tell the time. Number eight, uh, the rules apply to secondary students as well as primary. Number nine, the psychologist told uh, told us to visualize our ideal house and tell him about it. Number 10. Cameron received a... Number 10. Carmen received a prize for her outstanding achievement in the competition. Number 11. Our kitchen is very cool, so we keep the butter in the pantry instead of the fridge. Number 12. Some people think that life will become very dull when they retire. Number 13. My knowledge of world geography is limited. Number 14. The principles of speech inspired us to study harder. Number 15, we had to memorize some chemical formula for the exam. Now, this is for exercise number one, and we want to extend word formation babes. Here, we want to form babes. Okay, by using suffixes. Uh, the noun or the adjective into verb. Hala, first of all, we want to know what does mean of suffix. Hala, suffix is uh, the المقطع اللي مضيفه في آخر الكلام. Then we use suffix to form verbs from the words in the books and write them in the correct column in the chart. You may need to change the spelling. Then إحنا هون مطلوب منا الصفات والأسماء نضيف لها المقاطع المناسبة These are the suffixes 8, 5, I, Z, E هدول نسميهم suffixes إذا suffix means that syllable added at the end of the word هو عبارة عن مقطع يضاف في آخر الكلمة to give a new derivation عشان يعطيني مشتقة جديدة والمشتقة اللي هون رح نحكي عنها هي الفيبس الأفعال إذن اشتقاق الأفعال بإضافة eight, five, and I, Z, E, or I, S, P. تمام؟ هلا before anything, I want to present the uh, PowerPoint.
Now, uh, here again, extend the student book page number 32. And we want to form uh, these. Uh, by adding the suffixes, okay, from nouns and adjectives. Now, here we have the noun activity and the adjective active, okay. Now, the verb will be activate, as you see, the suffix here, uh, A-T-E, معناها ينشط. Number two, alien as a noun and alien as an adjective. So, the verb will be alienate, معناها ينفر. And pay attention to the suffix here. The adjective clear, okay, the verb is clarify, معناها يوضح. Now, the adjective here different. The verb will be differentiate. Pay attention to the suffix here, okay, and the spelling of the verb. ننتبه للمقطع اللي منضيفه والتهجي الصحيحة للكلمة. Differentiate معناها يميز. Now here the noun is example. The verb will be exemplify. Exemplify معناها يجسد. Now uh, the noun here memory. The uh, verb will be memorize. As you see, I add I Z E and means uh, يحفظ أو يتذكر. The adjective here here public. The verb will be publicize, معناها يعمم. And here the suffix I-Z-E. The adjective simple, the verb will be simplify, معناها يبسط. And this adjective visual, the verb will be visualize, معناها يتخيل. Now again, we want to go to the student book and do the exercises there. Number one, and in this exercise, we want to fill in the column with the correct uh, verb. Okay, now here, the verbs that uh, we add or we added eight activate, alienate, differentiate. The verbs ending in uh, ify, clarify, exemplify, simplify. The verbs ending in I, Z, E, memorize, publicize, visualize, okay? Now, after fill in this chart, these waves, we have to use these waves in these sentences. Exercise number two, complete sentences with the verbs from exercise number one. The explanation was too complicated for us, so our teacher simplify it. Number T, number two, number two, he memorized the phone number of the company so that he could call them later. Number three, it's hard to visualize what this area looked like before the town was built. Number four, the palace exemplifies the style of architecture typical of the 19th century. Number five, the politician did not want to be misunderstood, so he clarified the, his position. Number six, any smoke in the house will activate an alarm. Number seven, they're going to publicize the competition winner in the local press. Number eight, it's, uh, every, it is every parent's responsibility to teach their children to differentiate between good and bad. Number nine, the manager's decision to reduce the workforce has alienated him from the staff. Okay, this is for this exercise. Now we want to go to the next exercise and okay, now compound adjectives in the Yasutat Murakim. A compound adjective is a single adjective, okay, here at the Bansifat, made up of two or more words. 
مكونة من كلمات من كلمتين أو أكثر. These words are linked together with a hyphen. Hyphen هي this is the hyphen. Okay, to show that they are part of the same adjective. Now, example, open-minded هو الشخص اللي عنده تفكير جيد. Green-eyed الشخص اللي عينه خضراء. Short-sighted الشخص اللي عنده قصر نظر. Okay, now exercise number three. Now here we have a table. We want to combine the words from box A and box B to build up a compound adjectives. Okay. Now here I want again go to my presentation. Again, the compound adjectives, page number 32, student book. Now as uh, I said, a compound adjective is an adjective, the sifa, which is made up uh, of two parts and uh, it is usually written with a hyphen. Is an in general here to go and mean just a okay or two words kalimtian uh bin kalimtian hadul uh hyphen yan sharta sagira. Now this table okay uh contains from adjective and body parts blood uh, plus a d body parts plus a d okay to uh, write a compound adjectives is an ihna rahim stahdam sifat مع أعضاء الجسم بإضافة ED للكلمات هاي like hand, blood, mind, hair, heart, sight, skin, and head. We add ED at the end of these words, okay? Then we want to add them to these adjectives to uh, make up uh, a compound adjective, okay? So number one, right-handed, uh, that means uh, the person who write with a right hand. الشخص اللي بكتب بإيده اليمين. Number two, cold-blooded, and it's mean cruel uh, or the wet الدم البار. The next, narrow-minded, and this person not accepted other opinion. هذا الشخص بيكون ما بتقبل أراء الآخرين. Fair hair. Uh, the, uh, uh, the person who has uh, blonde hair and fair complexion. Uh, kind hearted, a kind hearted. Uh, it means a shahs ali who sahib al qalb al tayyib al latif. Short sighted. هلا uh, short sighted هي هون حسب ما إحنا مخبينها بالدرس فمعناها الشخص اللي عنده قصة نظر يعني he can't see uh, distance. ما بشوف على مسافة a long distance مسافات طويلة. Now thick skinned. هلا this mean careless. هذا الشخص اللي ما بيتقبل ولا شيء uh, وكمان ما بيأثر شيء فيه. يعني هو لا أبالي غير مهتم. Okay. Now, living headed. Uh, this means sensible. هو الشخص العقلاني المتزن. عقلاني ومتزن. Okay. Now, after this, we want to go to the student book to do uh, the exercise that related to this part. This is the student book, and we did this box. And the worksheet. طبعا الحل موجود عندنا في ورقة العمل. But here we want to use uh, these compound adjectives in sentences. هلا رح نستخدم هدول الصفات المركبة في جمل. The person who writes with their hand, right hand is right handed. طبعا زي ما اتفقنا هو الشخص اللي بكتب بإيده اليمين. Someone who is very cruel is cold blooded. هو شخص شرير. Number three, a person who doesn't worry about what people say about them uh, is a thick skin. حكينا إنسان غير مبالي لا يهتم لأراء الآخرين غير مبالي لا يهتم لأراء الآخرين. Some number four, someone who won't accept new ideas. شخص لا يتقبل الآخرين ولا أراءهم. Narrow-minded. Number five, a person with 
a light colored hair is fair haired شعره يعني لونه فاتح someone who is calm and sensible is level headed شخص المتزن الراكز العقلاني سمي level headed a person who is very generous is kind hearted شخص طيب القلب وكريم someone who can only see things which are very near is short sighted okay شخص يعني عنده قصر نظر هذا يعني ما برا الأشياء البعيدة. Exercise number four. Also, we want to complete sentences with a compound adjective from exercise number three. كمان هذا الاكسرسايز بدنا نحاول نستخدم الصفات المركبة. Okay. Now, my sister is extremely level-headed. She always knows what to do in a difficult situation. يعني هون بدل على العقلانية والاتزان في التعامل مع الأشياء. Number two. I am short-sighted, so I have to wear glasses. عند قص النظر فبدي يلبس نظارات. Number three, the employees are always complaining about manager, but he is very thick-skinned. He doesn't seem to care. طبعاً لا يهتم للشكوى اللي عمالها تيجي ضده. Number four, most people in my family are right-handed, but my brother. Always uses his left. طبعاً هو إني معناه تلاع اللي بتكتب يعني كسفة عندهم بكتب الإيد اليمين. Number five, my grandmother is always giving us presents. She, she is the most kind-hearted person I know. طيبة القلب. Number six, fair-haired people burn easily in the sun. هذول الناس اللي هم بيض وشعرهم أشقر. نمبر سبن I can't discuss things with my old brother anymore because he is so narrow-minded. نمبر ايت Reptiles are cold-blooded. هلا هون المقصود فيه كان الزواحف إنها من ذوات الدم الباردة. Okay. Now that's it for this page. I hope you've lifted exercises. Thank you. Okay.